How's it going everybody? I'm Jason with The Review Suite. So this is part three in this series I like to call Getting Started with Ubuntu on the Raspberry Pi 4. So in part one, we went over the hardware. Part two, we went over the installation of Ubuntu on the Raspberry Pi 4. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to install the Argon One fan script for your case. If you are not using one of the Argon One cases, you can go ahead and skip to the next video which should be linked somewhere up there. Now, as I mentioned in the previous videos, it's very important that you have a case with adequate cooling while running Ubuntu on the Raspberry Pi 4. Most Argon One cases come with a fan and each fan has a fan script. The Argon One fan script is compatible with the Argon One, the Argon One M.2, and of course the Argon One fan hat. If you have one of the cases or the fan hat, let's get started. Okay, so now we are on the Ubuntu desktop and there are a couple of ways you can install the fan script. The first way is to install the shell file directly from Argon40's GitHub and then install it. But the way I'm gonna show you guys is by actually installing the client URL or curl command so you can run the fan script that is included in the packaging of the Argon1 cases and fan. So the first thing we wanna do is open up terminal. I'm just gonna do a control alt T and I'm gonna make this window a little bigger. And before we install curl, we need to run an update. So I'm gonna type in sudo apt update ampersand ampersand and sudo apt upgrade press enter it's going to ask for your password so i'm going to put that in and it's going to run any upgrades and updates that might be necessary so we're going to type yes Hit enter. All right, now that that is done, we can proceed to install curl. So we're gonna do sudo apt install curl. Press enter. All right, so curl should be installed. And if you wanna check which version we are running, we can just type in curl space dash dash version and you can see which version of curl we are running which is 7.68.0 okay so now that we have curl installed we can proceed to install the fan script using the command that is in the booklet that comes included with the argon 40 cases so i'm just going to type in curl space https colon forward slash forward slash download dot argon 40 dot com forward slash argon one dot sh that's the shell file space pipe space bash press enter and if everything works correctly, we should get the fan script installed. Okay, it says we may need to reboot for changes to take effect, so I'm gonna reboot. Okay, the system has rebooted, so we should be good to go to run the fan script. Now you'll notice on the desktop, you don't see any icons. I'm not sure why the icons don't show up in Ubuntu, but the script is installed. So what we need to do is go back into terminal and I'm going to enter in the following command, argon1 dash config. And I cannot type today. <laughs> All right, 
Argon One Fan Speed Configuration Tool. Warning, this will remove existing configuration. Press Y to continue. Yes, we want to continue. Okay, so just like in Raspberry Pi OS, the fan controls are set to the default settings at 55 degrees Celsius, the fan will turn on at 10%. At 60 degrees Celsius, the fan will turn on to 55%. And at 65 degrees Celsius, the fan power will kick on to 100%. Uh, if you want the fan to run always on, you can just press one and you need to enter your password. And maybe you can hear this, um, but the fan is on on the Argon One M.2. Now, if you want to go back to default settings, um, you can press two or you can set a custom behavior. It's really up to you how you want to run the uh, fan on the Argon One M.2. Me personally, I'm going to keep it always on because the Argon One gets pretty toasty running Ubuntu. So just keep that in mind. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you install the Argon One fan script running Ubuntu. In the next video, we're going to dive deep into customizing Ubuntu to your liking. So shells, wallpapers, that sort of thing, everything you need to know to pretty much get started using Ubuntu as a desktop on the Raspberry Pi 4. If you found this video helpful or informative, please let me know by hitting that like button. And if you wanna catch the rest of this series, subscribe to the review suite and hit the bell notification so that you don't miss the next video. I'm Jason and I will see you all in the next one.